Alright, what's up guys? Of course, always welcome back to the EVT, or as my opponent <laughs> wrote, EVQ, uh, week 7 actually. This is the last week before playoff. Now, it is, I should <laughs> introduce him of course, as I did no team preview this week, and has a lot to do with our team building, and it has a lot to do with as that he is a future opponent. And uh, basically, no matter who wins between me and Shuckle King, my opponent, uh, is going to get a one week buy, the other one is going to face off against, uh, well, an opponent, basically. So, we're not, none of us are going hard out. Now, I had another team in mind, but sadly due to bot being down, I'm going to use teams that I could gen myself. So, no gen 8 Pokemon this battle. Or actually, I've got one, I've got Orbeetle, but uh, we'll see how that goes. I had another team in mind, but yeah, basically, let's do this. Um, I am, I shouldn't say I'm worried, because basically I don't mind losing, as I believe I, my season's been alright. Uh, two, you know, one -oh losses, that is on me, and uh, basically, if I lose here, I still think I go with my flag up in the top, because I'm, I'll say I played decently enough, considering the team I wasn't necessarily thinking too high off in the beginning. Uh, I'm not necessarily sure I got it better, but I sure as hell has enjoyed it a lot more since the change is made, so <laughs> I'm staying vigilant, uh, if that's a word even, but quite frankly, um, <laughs> by the way, he's doing the same thing as I do right now, and actually are recording some type of intro, so, you know, more power to him, I was going to say, but I don't mean like that, um, but, you know, <laughs> he has to do something. Um, his team is also called Philadelphia Absols, so you probably announced that. His team, by the way, is as follows. Aegis Last, Clefable, Rotten Wash, Norlac, Solgo, Appleton, Sigilith, Barbaric, Lushing, Chino, and Rhydon. I expect Aegis Slash, Clefable, Rotten Wash, Snorlax. Then it's a toss-up, of course, but I expect Chinchino because it does somewhat well against me. And uh, then it's either Rhydon or Sigilith. Appleton could potentially make it, but I'm not too scared of it. Um, Barbaric would be weird because I prepped nothing for it and... Uh, that might go against me, but I think that's my only thought process. <laughs> I just don't think that. Um, and I have a rock polish, speedy, um, uh, right pure for this game because I think it's gonna be fun. Verision <laughs> and Free Marina. Let's see, the team he has for this spell is. Yep, looks the part. Did not expect Barbarical, did not want to see Barbarical, but Chinchino is going to win this game, and um, that's that. Let's see, Chinchino, and we got Snorlax, Rotom, um, Aegis Slash, just going to write them down, Barbarical and Clefable. Barbarical. Guess the only positive trait is I know he won't stack against me, which is quite right. Um, I think my safest lead is actually lead off with Verisian, which is a Lumberry variant. And the reason for the Lumberry is because his Rotom might be one of those sets that could wisp me. But yeah, thing is here, versus Chinchino, I don't do that well. I need to get my Iron Defense up with my Orbeetle. Orbeetle could be a win condition here. Um, but with Barbaric Active, we have one big issue, and that issue is going to be that Shell Smash is severe <laughs> in many ways. And, you know, I'll figure out things from there. This was very hard to prep for, and not going all out with my un initial idea is very tough. Because, um, like I said, I had an idea in mind, but I can't pull that off. So, leads off with Barbarical, which should stress him out a bit as I lead off with. No, Verision. That said, if he is scarfed with air lace, then you know, whoops. Should I take the risk? I feel ballsy enough. I think a scarfed Barbarical eats me. It could also be a Focus Ashed variant, which, if so, he beats me anyway. Let's see, he stays in, so I expect this to be Focus Ash. Yeah, there you go. And uh, air lace, right? Shell smash. Cool. Cool. Not at all stressed. Now I gotta ask the real questions. What do I switch into this? OK. 
because accessory thing knock us out here. <laughs> Did I just lose? I guess so. Don't want to necessarily sack this Pokemon, I feel that would be unnecessary. I mean, I'm leveling here. I kind of need a free switch into Southend, but I don't know what. Yeah, my time is due. Let's go for that close combat. Airlace or Exisa? Airlace. Cool. It's alright. Kinda wish I would focus Sash myself, to be honest. <sighs> Still have no real switch in, but we're bringing Celentria. At least with a Moonblast, we should do something. Stone Edge should do a lot of damage to us. But basically, from here, there is really nothing we can do. So. Skull is safe. Basically, don't crit us. So we got the lead right, and uh, you know more power to my opponent for that. See, Stone Edge, please don't kill. Oof, barely cut that one. Release for Belko did exactly what he wanted it to do, and uh, that will put us in a position. And my Primarina is wasted for this battle. With I think Chinchino coming in for freely, just taking us out. So that's unfortunate, but um, you know <laughs> that was cool. I love seeing Barbarical doing things. Really underrated Pokemon, and you know, I clearly defined that that was a Pokemon that I was a bit fearful of. Like I said, it's alright. You know, we're still we're still in it, but we are on the back foot from the first turn, really. Now, the things I could have done differently that wouldn't have worked anyway was uh, basically pulling on you know, in and out, but uh, I'll give him this momentum. I don't believe I can stop him from getting it. So, yeah. Move last away. I'll tell you guys this though. Major props to that start. U turn to the right. That should knock us out, right? Yeah. It did move slow though, so I think oh, maybe. But basically, I want to see what he tries here. Because I have one kind of win con off my sleeve, and that is to pull off that rock polish with. Um, <laughs> with my um, Rhyperior. All issue is that uh, there are a few mods that does survive that can combination. So there was AG Slash, and uh, I guess I have the easiest switching in the world by switching in this guy. I'd argue that he has the same opportunity, however. I do believe that should scare him out. Though I do have no reason to not go for it quick, as uh, you no, know, his Rotom is annoying enough, but I really can't um, to take those risks just yet. Or I could, but why would I, right? Right, dual combination with Hydro Pump and. Um, Bolt Switch, Thunderbolt, possibly Defog. Uh, I hope he goes for a Will-O-Wisp. In theory, all I need versus this particular Pokemon is actually... Uh, um, some type of ship, like basically below 50, is that possible? If he's smart now, he goes for... a Volt Switch. If he's really mean, he goes for Will-O-Wisp. Frisks a Citrus, which is good. Thunder Wave. That was kind of tough. Good, good prediction. I lose nothing, my girlfriend. Iron defense, at least. But there's a volt switch, and that did all right. 
a lot of yellow magic going on. The fun part is, I was, I'm not going to say I just predicted, but rather I was expecting it. But if I get an iron fence behind me, I shouldn't be all too worried. Goes to Chinchina, okay. Right, one iron fence, cool. Gotta go for a second one, I believe. He should have rock blast. And King's Rock. I'm a bit worried here. I was fearing Chinchino for all the wrong reasons, but it's quite effective versus me. Another set I had for this game might have dealing with that one better in theory. But it's not like I wanted to take that um, that gamble. Let's see, tail slap, right? We should be good. I'm really glad to see tail slap. Just don't take Shanks Rock. There I go. Cool. Now it's all about getting that recovery off. I'm always in the 25% area of getting screwed over. Or if he gets a crit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Ah. Yellow magic. That sucks. That really sucks. I'll be honest, um, I always want to uh, be in a good position, but this is this is my opponent's game, for sure. I'll do a scummy nasty plot here, but quite frankly, um, my opponent is in a spot where I absolutely believe he wins. And uh, there should be nothing for me of making a comeback here. Uh, I right now play for differential and prepping for my opponent in the um, quarterfinals. Well, hopefully I can do a slight bit better. If I miss this Focus Blast too, I guess, you know, that's that's just how it is. There we go. This is absolutely my game. Yeah. Oh, at least we survived that. I guess that's kind of nice. Should I expect him to switch into his Sages Slash now? I feel I'm giving up. I don't mean to, but it's just... You guys know the feeling, right? Just when whatever you prep for is not working and you're just feeling the stress. That's where I am right now. And there really is nothing I can do about that. I wanted to have a better level game here, but... You know, it just isn't meant to be. I know it sounds strange, I don't mean to be... Uh, Disrespectful my opponent as I think he's doing this just about right. If he's smart, he locks himself into knockout, I believe. Or he could U-turn. There we go. Like I said, there is there is nothing for me for this game. At least it's a 4-0, something like that. I'm Ah I don't mean to sound like um uh... Oh how do you say? so out of breath, but I'm just feeling, I would say, empty. I mean, had that Focus Blast connected, that clearly took out <laughs> the Snorlax. So it feels unfortunate. I was pretty sure that Urk was going to knock me out too, so yeah. I wonder what he's thinking about. Um, I mean, he got the wrap. I believe he's switching to Rotom. In theory, he should be winning, as I have no means left on my team to really pressure him back naturally. As nothing here on my team makes sense no more. 
I really, oh, I shouldn't say that, but yeah. For this matchup, I think I just go directly for a nasty plot as she should. Actually, with that in mind, you're probably going for a Thunder Waves. I should just Dark Pulse with a flinch. I don't believe I'm in position no more. I could get that 50% I was kind of looking for on Rotom. That would be nice. I need for in, but I kind of... Um, ah, it switches out, damn it. Too Clefable. So, Flash Cannon. I I'm basically... I shouldn't say giving up, but at this point I... I feel very defeated. And there is just no turning back. I mean, I could have switched in right here, but at this point, I just want the game to be over and focus on the next one. If that makes sense to anyone, I don't know. See, there is a Moonblast. It's gonna knock us out. The only thing I kind of hope for, but don't, you know, that won't happen. But I best in theory, my best bet here is... There is you know what? No, I shouldn't do that. I have a game of chance of winning here, and I'm gonna rock polish up. Basically, what I need is... Um, first and foremost, his Moonblast does not do that much damage. Which is absolutely dead. So I guess no other rock polish. And then we we'll go for Earthquake. And we basically want him to miss his hydro pumps. And I got him at 50% however on his um, road charm. I could have potentially knocked him out here and granted I don't miss Stone Edge. But if we have an opportunity here where he could, I hope, I wish, <laughs> that um, he can miss Hydro Pump. If he miss Hydro Pump and I can make two Stone Edges, I potentially win. That's the game of chance I'm playing. So at least I lose 3 0 no matter what. See, Stone Edge, we do connect it. No crit, and there is a 50%. He had the citrus, I forgot about that. But we still have him in range if he missed that hydro pump. Sell or not. Alright, good. GG's my opponent. Um, look, I'll just be blank and say like it is. Um, I had a grand idea in mind, but um, that lead off with my opponent with Barbarical really strained my team straight off the bat. And the full paralyzation versus Chinchino. Unfortunate, yes, but if you're playing that game, you're absolutely going to be put in that position and um, no more power for my opponents. So, probably our toughest loss this season, but at the same time, I did not go with my first prep, which should have been a lot better versus his team, but I'm pretty sure he plays the same game here, which is why I think... which why I think is kind of, kind of alright, actually. So, it's my opponent, GD, very well played, really love that... that... no, start. <laughs> I really mean that. And for everybody watching, Thank you for doing for just so. Have a great day, everyone. Take care. Bye. Oh, yo, clearly, check out my opponent, right? Bye.